What they exist is nothing but the awake, awakening, enlightenment. And uh, all of us who uh, experience it uh, all the time, every, every second.
Okay. Something. You said yesterday that no matter what we do, as long as we are not fully enlightened, it will create problems. Uh, could you explain what you mean by problems? And could you, by way of illustration, tell us some of the problems you have experienced <coughs> due to the fact that you accepted the invitation to come to Austria? <laughs> you, you said well. You, you said very well. Um, this is an example of a problem. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's going to say that this morning. <laughs> about the practice and enlightenment. Maybe Sato, Satori. Mm. Being born at the shape of, shape of a human being. As a relative existence, right? There is a thing to think about what uh, what is this conditioned state or limitation. This opens up a very big subject of uh, what do you meant by fully enlightened. Mm. Absolute enlightenment, which is a characteristic of truth and uh, in being born as a human, and how much of truth is experienced by you? This is what I meant by the possibility of original originating of problem. I'm not talking good or bad. Problem is a subject to think about, work on it. In everyday life, We do not talk about uh, the presence of uh, absolute <coughs> or um, experience. 
experience of a, uh, your experience of a presence of absolute. Mm. It, uh, although it is main concern of uh, everyone in in their deep deep depths of life. We usually do not bring up in, in ordinary uh, communication ground too too sacred uh, subject S- sacredness of uh, subject is uh, related to subject uh, to say personal is still too public uh, which is true existence your everyday existence or only absolute one that kind of uh, very deep, deep uh, subject. Mm-hmm. The subject of uh, in personal enlightened experience uh, it's also uh, matter of same degree as I am talking about for other people uh, your, your enlightenment is not so uh, not so uh, big deal, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> mm. <laughs> Rather have enough, enough uh, survival money in your, in your wallet. That's more important subject. <coughs> mm. So this uh, sense of uh, value of experience is a little different Mm. but uh, religious spiritual subject uh, of your existence Mm. when you become truly alone uh, nobody nobody is uh, thinking about you and you also do not uh, think about others at that time this subject uh, comes up to you Mm. When, where, where you come from, this uh, existence, each of your existence, where does it come from in the first place? Mm. Why you exist here, this light? here, particular time and place.
grace. Mm. For, what, for what reason it, it, you are existing? And how long, how long, which direction this existence is going to continue? Mm, and uh, because of uh, such uh, alone uh, state, uh, without uh, measuring standard, you don't know where you are at, uh, which direction it is why it exists. Everything becomes one big question. Although uh, vivid, uh, truly vivid uh, sensation of the existence you feel in time and space. That's what uh, I feel. That's what I experience. I don't know how each of you feel about this. Is it to be somebody on this earth? Mm. Full effort of knowing, measuring what this being is. quarter century, uh, half century you spend time, but still not quite. You know almost uh, every important uh, information from uh, wise people in the past was around you. Mm. Still not quite the uh, answer is final. Again and again we come back to this uh, so to speak. So you say uh, helpless feeling of You cannot do much for yourself or others. No, while we do not know what we are, is it a human being? Is it most aggressive animal? being or endless, uh, endlessly suffering hell dwellers. We don't know, sometimes we feel all of them, we define uh, being human being is to uh, highly evaluated, uh, it just surface uh, inside is uh, nothing but uh, uh, fighter. You know, Sometimes, um, thirst, uh, thirsty existence. To say uh, um, we are a child of the uh, God or, or Buddha so is a uh, too ambitious defini definition. That's what I meant by uh, the problem. <laughs> 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 Be 
before I came uh, here visited to El Camino Hospital in, in California uh, my dear friend uh, father was a co in coma state the ter terminal cancer and uh, found out uh, while we were flying abroad uh, he passed on a few nights ago uh, the message came and uh, already Paul was uh, literally gone you know, when I visited three times every day. <coughs> Feet was warm, uh, hand was warm. Uh, tried to open his eye. The oxygen uh, tube uh, in his nose. Try to uh, respond to my big uh, call, you know. mm. and uh, his eyes cannot open. Couldn't be opened. Only one eye opened uh, one second and uh, looked at me. That was all. I closed eyes and again went to deep sleep. That was the last uh, meeting. But uh, felt felt good. Uh, he was already gone and uh, mm, it was about a matter of uh, time. I could heart stop beating. <coughs> mm. I felt good because uh, his body showed uh, Peacefulness, Not, no more struggle. And I asked the nurse if there any medication going on or not. No medication, just waiting. Mm -hmm. He and his wife was a Jew, Jewish. Wonderful man and wife. Mm. Wife passed away about seven years ago. Went to funeral. Mm. They adopted two children. Mm. My dear friend. Another. Uh, adopted was a girl and they both now married and have been raising children and have happily living. Um, after he lost his first wife, uh, he found another lady loves to who loves to dance mm, went to Jewish wedding and uh, I still remember they they were already quite old maybe around 65 63 or five after mm, Retirement age. 
I still remember the dancing crazy after after wedding. <laughs> Very cheerful person. But that person and the person who was in the bed after long struggle with cancer feels a very different person. <coughs> and wonder where where is Paul right now? It's in Buddhist thoughts. Oh. He's supposed to looking for a new birth somewhere. <laughs> It is about seventh day now, <coughs> approaching the first week, and he has passed the. Um, he just got out of the ship, a little boat, like a, like a paramita boat. Uh, giving some uh, pen, pennies to the uh, sa sail, what do you call the sailman who uh, carry dead from... Ferryman. Hmm? Ferryman. <coughs> Maybe he's around here <laughs> looking for the place. <laughs> Help us watch out. <laughs> 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 this friend, the uh, adopted son of Paul, is a very strange person. Uh, mm, when I was living in California, 23 years ago, um, oh, my son was uh, about coming, so my wife was pregnant, big, and uh, answered the doorbell, and uh, here he is, uh, <coughs> midnight. Uh, Mm. Bare, bare feet, dirty bare feet. Uh, bushy hair, long, long hair. Mm. Jeans were many holes everywhere. And wanted to see, to see me. <coughs> so, Still 18 years old he was. Mm. Oh, my wife was so upset. <laughs> Strange person came, please answer. I was still up in my study. Right, so I went. <coughs> And chest in my way, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have too many strange people. And <laughs> 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 I, I looked into his eyes and uh, look terrible, but uh, he's not crazy. I must. Uh, talk with him. And then I my jacket on and took him for a walk, midnight walk to the downtown of Los Altos. 
want to join the session wherever I go. Always say, make me monk. Please make me monk. I said, no. <laughs> Until proof. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> and always uh, apologize me. He's a very bad student. I want to do it, but uh, hesitant to join session. Brilliant, but too smart, I think. He cannot sit more than one hour. No, one hour is enough. <laughs> no session. Someday he will join. Mm. And this Lisa, the computer, but the girl is 13, 14 years old now. Mm. What makes me most happy is. Uh, she feels me as a god, godfather, and uh, when, whenever I visit them, she run up to me and uh, speak in Japanese. Mm -hmm. That is uh, very wonderful. <coughs> Maybe that is a proof. <laughs> 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 Let's change subject. I'd like to know how how can we understand why some people uh, have many problems and hard time to practice and some don't. Mm -hmm. Since people don't have problem. Everyone has about to equal <laughs> amount of difficulty. <clears throat> I do. I think I'm the worst kind of um, person. Nothing happens even more than First sitting is uh, three years old. My fa father taught me. Mm -hmm. uh, my big brothers, two brothers, uh, were ordained by my natural uh, natural father. <coughs> After chasing the firefly. We have a temple, big temple pond, a lotus pond. My father designed this garden. We are all small. Elder brothers came to catch the came back with a lot of fireflies and. <coughs> Strange thing happened was a uh, in the sky from the temple cemetery there is a very big blue purple bluish purplish ball of light came came and, and through one leap of this light 
And we said, oh, look at that, <laughs> look at that big fire. And my father told us it was a, uh, what say? It's a ghost, a spirit. He said, that is a spirit. Mm. It's a natural phenomenon. Today you don't have this. You have. Do you know what it is? When you read a uh, old story, uh, burial ground, this thing happened. Uh, we call it a ring in a low temperature. Uh, this thing burns and make this pale green blue purplish light. No. Hmm? It's only on cemeteries, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It, it is an element of our body. Gases, maybe? Yeah, <coughs> We finally, later I studied what it was, and uh, it was a uh, owl wearing this thing, and a fly in the sky. Owl, the bird. That evening, so the first lesson of Zazen we got three of us sitting in, in the porch. And my father was 60, about 60 years old. He came back from hospital uh, after surgery of stomach cancer. And he was a um, looked like a very old to me. Mm. After eating a little uh, cookie, he taught us how to uh, cross the And uh, <laughs> we compared who is the best posture. <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, uh, do um, full lotus without uh, using hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the best. <clears throat> and my eldest brother showed uh, he can walk with uh, he can walk with full lotus. <laughs> Literally, you go, you get up on the full lotus and start walking. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what I wanted to say is, uh, since that today, today, until today, no enlightenment <laughs> experience. Too bad. One, one time I did the Doksan with uh, Kodo Sawakiroshi and uh, asked about uh, this uh, um, supreme <laughs> enlightenment. He, he, he said, don't rush, he said. <laughs> 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 So I'm going very slow. <laughs> <laughs> sometime, sometime, sitting feels wonderful. Most of the time, before and after sitting is more wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you were talking about enlightenment 
hmm. and that you haven't had it yet or whatever. So where does all this Satori thing come from? Is it just to keep people going? So you always tell them, oh, you read it there, you read it there. Is it just so that people think, maybe there is something that keep going and keep going? Or do you know what I mean? Where does it come from? I mean, mm. you say, I haven't had it. Nobody says he ever had it. But you read it everywhere, just so that people keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Last <laughs> trick. <laughs> it's like a sick of a paradise, no? uh, utopia, and uh, like uh, Moses was. A little bit too short temper, he missed it. Personal, personal um, enlightenment experience, I think it's happening all the time, um, but no one can see it. <laughs> I mean, no one else can see your enlightened experience. And if uh, this life is a uh, moment of, and it's constantly, constantly sparkling, that constancy makes uh, that thing look subtle, uh, solid existence. But who knows? <laughs> it just... Uh, in, if enlightenment is a misunderstanding, like uh, putting fifth degree to fifth, fifth dimension to third dimension and think that is it. <coughs> that just misunderstanding. <coughs> so I I started to sometime started to put it aside and do not to do not to uh, poke. Someday it might uh, uh, show what it is. Feels no, nothing but uh, uh, what exists is nothing but uh, awake, awakening, enlightenment, and uh, all of us uh, uh, experience it, uh, part of it, uh, all the time, every every second. That's what, how I started to understand these days. Um, and uh, to meditate is to widen it, broaden it, and concentrate is to ignore most of it except uh, very small portion of it.